Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 16. Chapter 16 is about sound waves. There, we talk about the gate string. It tells us, for this case, the length of this uh, string is shortened. The string's fundamental frequency will increase, right? This is what it tells us. And it also tells us the tension and the linear density were not changed. And initially, this unfingered length of string is given L. We need to determine the position X for the first six fronts. So there, how can we do that? We can see. Um, first, if the person work on just uh, um, press this uh, string, and the sound wave on this string is a standing wave. Do you agree? And for standing wave in previous chapters, we know the wavelength is lambda n equal to 2L divided by n. In this case, we consider just the fundamental frequency. So n is 1. So we have lambda just equal to 2L in this case, right? Now we can see initially what given is L is 0 0.65 and then the frequency, we need to find it, right? So how can we decide the frequency? So we can see, um, frequency is a speed divided by wavelength. And there, we talk about the fundamental frequency for a standing wave 2L, it is there. Now we need to look at the V. Wave speed on the string can be determined by this function, do you agree? The tension over the leader density, the squirt. And then it tells us the tension and the leader density unchanged. So that means the V is constant, right? Now, how can you de decide the X, X1, the first uh, uh, knots? So X1, how can you do that? It tell you the on the equal temperature, this is scale, the ratio of frequency for neighbor, neighborhood, neighboring knots is uh, this number. See, this is what is given. So it looks like we can decide the frequency ratio at first, right? So you can see this is initial frequency. It's there. And also, this is the first knot frequency, F1. We can call it F1. So we write the ratio F1 over F, just as the number given there, right? And now we can input the functions for F inside. So F1 is replaced by V over 2L1. F is replaced by V over 2L. V and V are constant. 2, 2 is a constant. So we get the ratio, look like this one. L over L1 is this number, right? So it looks like L1 is this length. Agree? L1 is this length. So we can write is L1 is L over this ratio. It is a number there. Therefore, we can get X1 is use total L minus X1. This is how we can get it for first notes. Now, how can you get is a, is a, a continue notes for X2, X3, x4 something look like that so similarly this is what we did x1 is there and then frequency we just decide is v over 2l right and then as it tells us the ratio of frequency for neighboring knots is uh, this number so we write fn over fn minus 1 is this number then how can we write it we can say the v is constant f times l is constant. Do you agree? So we can write Fn minus Fn minus 1 is this Ln minus 1 divided by Ln, just the exact same as there we did, right? Now you can see we can write it as this one, right? Ln is Ln minus 1 times this ratio, and then we can write it. And this Ln minus 1 can be as this Ln minus 2 divided by this ratio. And then we do that continually, do all of them. Finally, we get is Ln is L divided by this ratio. Just this ratio, need to times together, right? This one ratio times another ratio times a multiple ratio times n ratio. So we get the power n at here. Agree? So in this case, we get Xn in this function. 
Now since it becomes so easy, you just input when n is 1, l1 is in this function. When n is 2, l2 is in this function. When n is equal to 3, you get the x3. When n equal to 4, you get the answer there. n equal to 5 in this function. And then n equal to 6 in this function. Thank you.